It's not often Mike Tyson comes out of his shell and adds to the ongoing drama in the rap game. But when he does, you're gonna want to listen to what he's kept guarded in that mind of his. Diddy's walls have been crumbling down lately, and Mike Tyson has something to say about the situation. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Mike Tyson exposes Diddy's gay parties. New leaked video. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. Mike Tyson exposes Diddy. In the murky depths of the music industry, dark secrets lurk beneath the surface. Among rumors enduring for over two decades is the allegation that Diddy was complicit in the murder of hip-hop legend Tupac Shakur. Numerous voices have fueled this controversy, including those of Eminem and various seasoned detectives. But now, a new viewpoint is emerging from a formidable figure out of the same era, Mike Tyson. In a recent interview on the PBD podcast, former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson addressed the enduring rumors surrounding Sean Diddy Combs and Tupac Shakur's death. Tyson, who had a pre-fame acquaintance with Diddy, asserted that the music mogul played no role in the tragic killing of the hip-hop icon. In the captivating episode of the PBD podcast, host Patrick Bet David led a candid discussion about Diddy, igniting a compelling dialogue with Mike Tyson. Bet David began by stating, So many people in the music industry and Hollywood feared this guy Diddy as if he was untouchable. To which Mike Tyson humorously interjected, Oh, sugar Diddy. Bet David delved into Diddy's controversial reputation and referenced occasions where prominent figures like T.I. and 50 Cent had publicly criticized Criticized Diddy. Turning to Tyson, he inquired about Tyson's knowledge of the nature of Diddy's parties and whether Tyson had ever attended such events. In response, Tyson said, No, I just know him for a long time. When further queried about their relationship, Tyson portrayed Diddy as an awesome guy. He recalled, I knew him before he was, um, Diddy, and for a long time. When I first became champ, I knew him. I remember him. He used to have crates when he was at my after parties and stuff. Also, when they were throwing parties. When Bet David inquired whether this was around the time that Diddy founded Bad Boy Records, Tyson clarified that Diddy, Damon Dash, and others weren't widely recognized figures at that time. I was like the first street guy that really got on. I'm the first of all of our generation of that kind, of that cruise, you know. The street houses that really blew up like that, Tyson said. Tyson's remarks revealed his close relationship with Diddy and implied that Diddy's reputation as a guy to be feared in the business was unjustified. Tyson seemed to want to evade the questions about what happened at Diddy's infamous parties, but he frowned at the person Diddy has become and was disappointed that the man he once knew to be good had become a menace. Feds search Diddy's home for evidence. A search was conducted by Homeland Security agents on rapper Diddy's residence in both Los Angeles and Miami as part of an ongoing investigation into sex trafficking. Despite facing multiple lawsuits concerning allegations of sex harassment and rape, the rapper was reportedly not present as agents meticulously searched his properties on Monday afternoon. Law enforcement established a perimeter around the Los Angeles residence located in the affluent home Hills neighborhood near Beverly Hills, where at least two individuals were detained and placed in handcuffs. Armed agents associated with the Department of Homeland Security carried out operations at upscale properties across both the east and west coast of the United States, as shown in video footage depicting helicopters circling overhead. A law enforcement officer was observed transporting a bag of evidence to a waiting van. Homeland Security expert Hal Kempfer, speaking with Vox 11, suggested that the agency is likely investigating allegations of Combs drugging young women across multiple states. Kempfer further emphasized that Homeland Security is actively seeking evidence, including laptops and flash drives, which could potentially establish a connection between Combs and the allegations. Reports suggest that investigators from the Southern District of New York have conducted interviews with four Jane Doe's and one John Doe as part of an alleged 
sex trafficking, and RICO case. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners, Homeland Security said in a statement. We will provide further information as it becomes available. The sex trafficking investigation emerged four months after a lawsuit filed by former bad boy singer Cassie Ventura against Diddy, alleging trafficking and years of sustained physical abuse. Combs reached a settlement with Ventura just one day after the lawsuit was filed. Diddy denies allegations after raid. The searches conducted in Los Angeles and Miami were part of a federal investigation into allegations of trafficking involving the hip-hop and liquor mogul. Although no arrests have been reported at this time, sources indicate that the federal investigation has been ongoing for several months. Diddy has vehemently denied the allegations. Enough is enough, he said in a social media post. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Diddy's attorney, Aaron Dyer, released a longer statement on the rapper's behalf on Tuesday. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residence, the statement said. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. He went on to explain further that Diddy was never detained, and despite the media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. He asserted that the sudden and highly publicized raids, along with a well-coordinated media presence, resulted in an unfair rush to judgment against Mr. Combs. He described the situation as a witch hunt driven by baseless accusations made in civil lawsuits. He also emphasized that there had been no determination of criminal or civil liability regarding any of the allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name, he said. Employee exposes Diddy in s scandal. Diddy is facing a recent lawsuit filed by music producer Rodney Jones Jr., also known as Lil Rod. The lawsuit, lodged in federal court in Manhattan, accuses Diddy of engaging in unwanted s contact and compelling Jones to hire prostitutes and engage in s acts with them. According to his lawsuit, which spans the years 2022 and 2023, Mr. Jones asserts that he contributed to the production of the Love album Off the Grid, Diddy's latest album. Jones claims to have produced nine tracks on the album and mentions residing with Diddy for extended periods during that time. During his time working on the Love album, Mr. Jones alleges that Diddy engaged in inappropriate behavior by grabbing his genitals without his consent. Additionally, Jones claims that Diddy attempted to influence him into engaging in s*** activities 